Franklin with CarWashForSale.net. We're here today to tell you a little bit about how to harness the sun's energy through solar panels. I want to take you a look over here. Look at this. This is a solar panel here that is being used as a pump. Can you imagine what kind of energy savings or cost savings it is to you, the car wash owner? And I've got here John, which, John, why don't you come over here and tell us a little bit about your car, your solar business. Good to see you, John. Hey, I've known Norris a long time, and he's an excellent guy. Here's what we do. Every day, that every square foot of the earth receives over 1,000 kilowatts of energy. It's free energy, my friend. Look, it's coming down now. Now, since day one, the man has figured out how to harness that energy, either to heat their home, cook food, do certain things. It's time now with energy savings to really look at how you can do that as a business owner and make money. Two opportunities that I see. Heating water for a car wash. That's a huge expense for you. Absolutely. Either natural gas or, or electric or whatever. Now, we can take a solar water heating panel like this. This is our uh, residential size. Yours would probably be bigger. But each square foot produces 1,000 kilowatts of energy a day. So in reality, what this means is this panel will heat 40 gallons to 50 gallons of water a day to 130 degrees. What we would probably do is install 10, however many you would need to augment your energy. You know what I mean? Car washes use a lot of hot water. Uh, I don't know what temperature they use, probably around 110, 100, something like that. Uh, you can have, a, a, by multiple of one panel, 50 gallons a day of hot water for free. Go. Now I noticed right over here, let's look over here, you've got a, a light. What, yeah. what is this all about? This is a solar lighting system. It's completely self-contained. There's no energy cost once you've bought it. The battery is self-contained inside the box. It's lockable. It has a photo eye. So that it will come on with either motion sensor or you can set it on to come on at a timed activity. This will light up the equivalent of about a 100 watt light bulb and spread out a really nice light over this area. That's another concern for, for car washes is their lighting. So one opportunity is the solar thermal to heat water. The second opportunity is to augment your electric supply either by just dumping power into the grid with the grid tie system and I'll show you that in a minute or a, an application like this that says, let's just focus on lighting and let's uh, knock down that car. Be situated on a car wash. Good question. We want this in the sun, preferably on the roof. Car washes have a tremendous advantage because they have a lot of available roof. It's usually a flat roof. This panel, let me tell you a little bit about it, is from Germany. It's T-I-N-O-X, the Tinox panel. It is the most efficient panel in the world. It's bright blue, the copper, risers, and the water goes in at the bottom, rises up through these, collects that solar heat, and comes out of the top. And literally, if I was to hook this up right now, it would scald you coming out. The water, one pass, turns to 130 degrees. Uh, we have a, a dedicated canopy that is providing 1,500 watts of solar electrics, uh, photovoltaics, which are basically electric, they pr provide electric. That will produce 10 kilowatt hours a day on an average day. In the summer, it's going to produce more, in the winter, a little bit less. But that feeds directly into the grid and offsets your power requirement. Why don't you explain to us, John, the whole process now? It's very simple. And we've drawn this up just to make it easy. Here's a very similar canopy to across the roof. We're going to use an eight panel system. So these are four by 10 panels. They're 40 uh, square foot each. That's 40,000 BTUs per day per panel. We have eight of them, so this is capable of 320,000 BTUs per day. What that translates to you in the southwest, which Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, Kansas, is a minimum, I'm talking a minimum, of 500 gallons of water at 130 degrees every day. Now, normally in a, in a home, you don't use hot water direct. You mix cold in with it and you moderate it a little bit. So I think car washes are, what, 110 or something? Right. You can't be that hot, you'll scald somebody. Translate this into a uh, number of hours that it'll uh, offset your energy cost. Now I noticed that you have, here are the panels and then you have your storage tank here. And then most of these washes that I'm seeing that are thinking about converting are existing washes. That's perfect because here's the simple, this is how simple it is. This is the drain down tank. So the fluid that goes up to the roof 
comes out this end, goes through the panels, captures the heat, and goes in this end. Now, obviously, for a car wash, this is going to be bigger. It's going to be 20, 30 gallons. Inside that a fluid, it gets superheated. Your water from your tank, which you have an existing tank, will be pumped through here. There's a coil inside this tank that captures that heat, and then it goes right back into your tank. So it goes out cold, comes in hot. So or it comes in from the street first, goes through our tank, and then into your storage tank. What that means is you preheat the water. Now inside your existing tank you have either an electric element or you have gas or some other way to heat this. You can, you can turn that thermostat down and, and give priority to the solar heated water but still have a Now you're talking about tax credits. Let's talk about tax credits a little bit. I, and I will be happy to give you that information. The federal government in their infinite wisdom has realized that we have an energy crunch and how can we stimulate the economy and saving is the number one way to do it. So what they will give you is 30% off the top of a commercial entity that says tax credit. So you have to have taxable income, number one. And then you, if you spent $10,000, you'll get a certificate saying that's what you spent. Take 30% off of that. Let me show you this tank real quick. It's all controlled by this one controller. You don't have to be a genius to do this. You set the dial and it works completely automatic. But yeah, let me show you some things related to the solar electric system. Electric from the sun. Right. So why don't you explain to us? You saw the panels outside, and they're very simple. They provide DC power, direct current, like your car battery. That needs to go through some device to convert it to an alternating current. That's what this is. A converter. A converter, yeah. It's basically a DC to AC converter. But it has to meet the specifications of the power company to be able to intertie. This system is a grid tie inverter. It's 3,000 watts. So what it'll do, it takes that solar energy, converts it to AC energy, and impacts your meter right here. Saves, it turns that thing backwards. Now let me ask you, you say turns that... Turns that meter backwards, basically. You have power from the sun coming in, pushing the meter one way, and then you're, if you use more, the grid tie is always there to give you a certain amount. But it's, it's basically you're pouring in from one bucket from the sun, then whatever else you need, you pour in from the... So you're reducing your utility bills? Directly, directly.